So this is one of the levels of Fanny Amber and it's really really dark so we cannot really see the vertex paint so just let me change the view mode right here yeah so how the vertex paint works for a mobile game so as you can see I have like pebbles gravel and so windy sand but what's interesting about this level is that in the distance I actually have the same pebble texture but it's scaled up so this is the same texture as this one why because if you look it from here like horizon level the faraway pebbles which the player is never going to reach look like big rocks and it actually in, in really integrated 3d rocks like these ones really really well in the in the in the environment i'm going to go to another planet of tiny or funny amber and let's see how the vertex pain is used there okay so we are in mercury another level of any amber and as you can see the vertex pain in the floor it literally lurps between the craters with which were where they have a texture that actually matches the the geometry of the crater and a normal vertex paint a normal texture sorry for the the floor how can this be achieved well this is kind of advanced right but let's see that you can give different channels take a look at the coordinate index so you can have multiple uv channels for each of your UVs and this one uses one UV and this one uses another that's how we can make that the crater only a texture only appears in the geometry and perfectly fit so yeah for the last, uh, last example I would like to go back to Infernium and show you how you can use vertex paint to fake and make actually cheaper effects than normal shaders that would take a lot of performance of co in consoles Okay, we're back in Infernium, we're in, in this beach, based in the beautiful beach of Macarayeta in Menorca, and where is the vertex paint? Well, obviously we have vertex paint in the in the beach, but I am also using vertex paint for this kind of more wet s sand in, in, the, in the beach, and also the shiny grains of, sal of, of sand that you can see here are not in the shadow and I control what I want those also with vertex paint it's just an effect just a vertex paint with a multiply as you will be able to see here mm -hmm. the grains of salt are these ones and they are controlled through a vertex paint too right and I want and I don't want it and aside from the effects of the little grains of sand that are shiny this one's here. I have a vertex paint for another one. The caustics in the water. So this is not actually generated or projected or blah blah blah. And because this environment is so controlled that I don't want to automate things and I can fake things by hand. I actually control the, the caustics with vertex paint. So yeah, that's another use of vertex paint and I and I like to fake uh, everything I can fake because it's it is normally faking something is it's actually going to make it cheaper like for example it is like really radical but this grass here it's not actually being lit so if I go to unlit mode as you can see I literally have two kinds of grasses like the normal uh, like the grass in the sunlight and the grass in the dark side so this way the shader is so much cheaper for the grass so yeah that's i think that's all for this video i just wanted to demonstrate that vertex paint can actually be used in commercial products and I mean that it's really 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 cool tool in real engine that most people don't know about so yeah go and use it Bye-bye.